welcome to Tiger Talk from Buffalo Wild Wings here on Columbia's Southwest Side. Well, first of all, it was a, probably the only like, Friday, Saturday, Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Friday night, Saturday night I've had during a season in, in, in 37 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we adjusted our schedule for the players, and uh, coaches were recruiting on Thursday and Friday, uh, getting the number of hits they called. They had a lot of only so, number, so many hits. And uh, a lot of them got back uh, early Saturday morning or uh, late Friday night. But uh, so, um, you know, I, I shot into Kansas City, uh, went to Plaza, kind of had dinner, kind of just kind of chill, chill out a little out bit, little bit as yeah. best as I can chill. I'm not a great chiller this time of year. But honestly, <laughs> it was a really, really, it was really weird, you know. It was really mm -hmm. different. It's never happened. And then I woke up Sunday morning and guess what? Right Bam, back you're it. back ready to go. So. We wanted to make sure that we didn't tire the players out, and that was real important, give them a rest physically and mentally away from the grind. And so it was a combination of both those things. And so we had a practice on Wednesday night. We had a practice on Sunday night. Our players had off. Uh, they had to come to a walkthrough on Thursday, but they didn't do anything on Tuesday either. They had a walkthrough there also. And so they really got refreshed and really r ready to go. So it was kind of a perfect spot to have this by. And uh, now you know, we're 2-0 and in November, and we're going for uh, game three. Can you believe, Eric Waters, that you have two games left in the regular season in your Mizzou career and only one game left at Furrow Field? No, it's hard to believe. It's definitely hard to believe, man. These four years have gone by so fast. Uh, when you're younger, you don't want to believe Coach Pinkle when he says these, these four years will fly by and you'll be wondering where they're going and these are the best times of your life. And he was very, very correct. Um, it, it's tough. Uh, I don't really want to get emotional up here, but it's going to be tough. The uh, last two games, definitely. Um, you build relationship, relationships with your teammates that last a lifetime. And it's, it's definitely hard. Mitch, has this been the best time of your life as well, your time here at Mizzou? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, getting to know guys like Eric, you know, man, that you wouldn't know, honest to goodness, if you stayed, you know, and gone and done something else. Um, you just... It, it, football is one of those games that you just get so close to the guy you're playing next to and the guys you're going to battle with every Saturday. And this is one of those things you're just going to hold dear to you for the rest of your life. You're going to have these friends for the rest of your life. Something about Eric Waters that we don't know. Oh, boy. All right. So I want you all to take a good look at Eric Waters right now. Right. He's the pinnacle of masculinity. All right. He's an incredibly masculine man, but he also has an incredible feminine side. He... He's an excellent crocheter, no doubt, and he has made every offensive lineman mittens. Every one of them is getting ready for that. So we appreciate everything that you've done. Eric Waters, uh, what don't we know about Mitch Morris? Well, one thing you guys do not know about Mitch Morris is he has a lovely voice. Sometimes when I get upset and I'm having a bad day, since Mitch's locker is right next to mine, he will sing to me, and he will just make me feel so much better. He has a, a heavenly voice. You, t you talked about this just a moment ago, playing your best game, and you haven't played it. D define what would be your best game. Oh, I, I, think, I think that, that game that uh, at the very end that, you, you know, obviously you're playing a really good op opponent, and you, and, you, and you play well on all sides of the ball and, and, and competitive, and... And maybe sometimes you never get your best game. Maybe you're always striving. You know, talking about Michael Jordan, you know, if you asked him right now in an interview, what was your best game, he would say to you, I never, play, I never had my best game. That's kind of the, the way we're, we're doing it too. Good luck. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's Thanks. Gary Thank Pankel. You. I'm Mike Kelly. Thanks for listening to Tiger Talk on the Tiger Network for Learfield Sports.